so everyone assalamu alaikum inshallah we will start now today uh, the deck specification the lecture today uh, we will have uh, the deck specification and uh, before we start again i am telling and now we have 23 students some students they are not punctual to the timing okay uh, they come very late please start from the beginning okay because of you one buddy is uh, late and uh, the, you, he, he wa waste the time for all the other students okay so please don't do these things anyways today we will discuss about DAG specifications okay what is the meaning of DAG specification DAG specification means that when you guys uh, go to uh, when you guys uh, when for example we have one application and we are selecting one digital to analog converter what are the specifications that we shall uh, consider okay for uh, for uh, selection okay what are the specification okay if i if, let's say for example i have a project and i have to use one digital to analog converter okay i want to select one okay so what are the now there are multiples available uh so multiple level please let me just discuss this one the second the problem second problem is the same as first problem okay just uh, focus here my friend okay so what we need now uh, what we need now that what are the parameters that are important for us to evaluate the performance of any digital to analog converter and based on those parameters specification we choose our digital to analog converter okay what are those specifications or manufacturer specifications that are important so we have <coughs> resolution which is again the step size resolution okay percentage resolution uh, accuracy okay offset error and settling time okay these are the different things that are uh, important okay so first of all <coughs> First of all, resolution. We all discuss resolution in detail. Okay, we all discuss resolution. By the way, it is uh, not resolution; it is percentage resolution. Okay, here this one is percentage. We are discussing percentage resolution. This is not resolution; percentage resolution. Okay. So we know resolution, we know percentage resolution, how to calculate. But when I take a consider any DAG, when I see cons consider any DAG, and I see the specification, then I will be given the percentage resolution. And that will be given as number of bits, okay, in the specification sheet, okay, of any DAG. When I will go in the market, I will I will uh, uh, select any specification from the manufacturer. Manufacturer will provide me the uh, the specifications in the specification sheet. How will I know? Simply the number of bits. Okay, not all those calculations that we have done. No, it will be simply number of bits. So I will see what is number of bits based on that one. They will define. They usually the manufacturer they define uh, the specification based on the number of bits. Okay, so it is simply nothing but the number of bits. So here we see a uh, DAG or resolution is number of bits. Okay, number of bits. You can see here number of bits. <coughs> In that I'm talking about the specification sheet. Okay, and uh, then we have uh, uh, accuracy. What is accuracy? In the accuracy, we have two types of things. Okay, the accuracy. Yeah, yeah, whatever, you know, percentage resolution or resolution. I am talking about the specification sheet, okay? Not what we have done till now in the specification for specification only, okay? For specification sheet. Specification sheet from manufacturer. Okay, how will I know by number of bits? Okay, very simple. Okay, I will go to the manufacturer. I will see his uh, sheet and I will be given the uh, as number of bits. Okay, now for the accuracy, we have two errors. 
one is called the full scale error and second is called the linearity error okay for the specific uh, this one uh, accuracy okay now what is full scale error my friend here full scale error is very simple full is and we uh, there is a calculation for the full scale error we will see okay so full scale error is the maximum deviation deviation means the difference okay difference of the deck output from its expected value okay we have one expected value but we have a different output so there will be error okay that is called error and when we express is at percentage of the full scale means i have that i will I will calculate that error okay means i have actual value a deck value output value and i have an expected value so i will calculate the error and i will express is as percentage from the full scale full scale will be given or i have to calculate and i will uh, uh, do the uh, i will express it as the percentage that is called full scale error okay so maximum change or deviation of the tech output from the expected value we will do it okay don't worry okay we will see how we do it and expressed as the percentage of the full scale okay then we have linearity error linearity is error is the error in the step size okay so full scale error is the error in the uh, analog output okay is the analog output full scale error and linearity error is the error in the step size in the step size error in the step size okay yes error in the step size okay so you should understand so one error is in the output analog output and one error is the step size so which error we talking about full scale error is the error in the analog output and linearity error is the error in the step size so these things are provided in the specification sheet from the manufacturer okay i know this dac is from a certain manufacturer i will go to his specification sheet and i will see number of bits it will define the resolution okay very simple i don't need all those calculation that we have done in the past okay i will simply see number of bit that will define because you know percentage resolution it depend upon the number of bits right so therefore they say that the uh, deck resolution in the specification sheet is simply the number of bits and then for the accuracy we have two errors a full scale error and the linearity error full scale error is the error in the analog output okay and you expressed in terms of the full scale and the linearity error is the error in the step size now let's see the calculations how do we calculate okay so uh, we will do the calculation uh, next page okay see the next page okay before i discuss the offset error and settling error i will discuss this example okay uh, okay here sorry not this one i will discuss this example okay this example okay so what is this example very simple a certain 8 bit deck has a full scale output we all know what is full scale our maximum or full scale or uh, reference output okay of 2 milli ampere and a full scale error of plus minus 0.5% of full scale okay what is the range of the output for the input this one okay now you are given a full scale output okay and we all know that the full scale output if we are given the full scale output i can easily find the step size why because the step size is equals to what analog output over digital input now if i have a full scale we know for the full scale 
what will be the input input will be all ones right which is what which is what 255 right very simple so what is step size step size is i am given uh, 2 milli ampere is the full scale over uh, the input okay 255 i got the step size which is how much 7. Point <coughs> 7 point eight four micro ampere okay now it is telling you that what will be the uh, range of the uh, output why it is asking you the range it is asking you the range because it has given you the error okay uh, asking you the range because it, it, there is an error okay which is percentage uh, of 0.5 percent of the full scale error okay it is it has given to you before the error i will find the ideal output okay very simple and we know uh, what is the ideal analog output what will be the analog output analog output equals to k times digital input right now what is digital input digital input is given to you one zero 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 okay this one right and this is equals to 128 okay in decimal so very simple our analog output if i say ideal analog output ideal without any error very simple okay i know it will be k times digital right what is k we already find seven point we already find 7.84 micro okay micro times times input is how much 128 okay based on this what i got i got equals to 1004 micro ampere okay micro ampere now this output is ideal up till now what we have done is the same that we did before also right okay there is no difference but this is the ideal output now we are given an error okay what is the error it is a full scale error that we see the definition and it is how much 0.5 percent of the full scale clear so now it is very simple okay uh, what is the 0.5 of full scale now what is the full scale full scale is so 0 0.5 percent you know percent when we multiply convert the percent we divide by 100 right times what is the full scale 2 milli ampere right clear everybody 0.5 percent of the full scale so how much we got we got it plus minus 10 micro ampere because the error can be up or down okay plus or minus so now very simple what is our ideal output the ideal output is 1004 micro ampere micro ampere plus minus 10 micro ampere very simple so again <coughs> first you find the ideal output okay again first you find the ideal output then you find your error and you add the error so 1004 minus 10 micro ampere minus 10 1004 plus 10 that will be your range clear everybody okay everyone so first find the ideal then find the uh, error okay given to you calculate the error and then you find the range very simple okay uh, look again very carefully and ask me any question so this is the way we got 10 because what is the full scale error given to you full scale error it is telling you 0.5 percent of a uh, minute 0.5 percent of the full scale right so when, what is 0 0.5 0 0.5 percent when we can convert percent we divide by 100 right very simple 
times what is full scale 2 mV ampere clear so it comes how much 10 micro ampere like this so simple okay so it is plus or minus 10 because we need a range clear okay everyone <coughs> Okay, so this is the way you are given the error. You are given the error, percentage error. From the percent error, you will first of all find the ideal output. First of all, given conditions, find the ideal output. How you will find the ideal output? The same way that we have done in the past two weeks. You will find the step size. You will find uh, the output. Okay, be, be given the input. Okay, this is the same thing. Then you will find out what is a full scale error, calculate the full scale error, and you will find the range of the output. This is how the questions will come regarding the full scale error. Okay, guys. Now uh, we have one more error which is called offset error. What is offset error? Very, very simple. Offset error is like you know, you have a gauge, a pressure gauge. If I don't apply any pressure, what should be the what what it should give me, guys? If I don't apply any pressure in the pressure gauge, what it should give me? Zero, right? Okay. Yes. Okay. If it is not giving zero, if it is not giving zero, uh, if it is not giving zero, it means there is an error, right? That is called offset error. That is called offset error. So if I have an I if, if, if I have a deck, okay, ideal deck. Okay, what should I have? If I have the input zeros, all the inputs are zero bit, okay. The output should be also what analog output voltage should be zero volt, right? But if it is giving you some output, it means there is an error. That is called offset error. Okay. So look definition, what it is telling you. Ideally, the output of a DAG will be zero volt when the binary input is all zeros. In practice, however, there will be a small output voltage for the situation. This is called offset error. Okay. And if we don't correct this offset error it will be added to all the output okay all the input cases whatever the output it will be added okay so we have to make external so many deck has have external adjustment okay initial error you can say okay so many deck have the external adjustment okay so you can make to remove the offset error okay and you are given a question here in the second example now look this example <laughs> uh, so a 4 bit DAG has an offset error of 2 millivolt so you are given an offset error here see offset error of 2 millivolt okay and a perfect step size of 100 millivolt find the ideal and actual ideal and actual okay and you are given the inputs okay you are given inputs you are given input okay you are given the inputs and you know the step size we all know how we'll find the formula what is the formula analog output equals to k times digital input right right okay so from this formula i will find all the ideal output okay all the ideal output you can see step size time digital input okay all the ideal outputs clear everybody now you are given an offset error so very simple what will you do you will simply add the offset error here in the ideal so your ideal output was zero millivolt you add the offset error it becomes zero plus two which is two milliampere 
you got the output uh, 100 millivolt you add the offset to you got 102 milliampere 802 and so on and so forth it is so simple okay so you apply simply you find the ideal output and you find the input okay guys so this is the way the last thing here is called settling time okay settling time so settling time is what settling time is very simple okay settling time because you know now you have the input and you should have the output now <coughs> for any deck it will not give immediately give the output okay you provide an input it will take some time ideally it will not give you in just like this okay it will take some time to give you the output okay that is called settling time means how much time that takes to that you get an editor input and you get the output okay that is called settling time we call it operating speed so the you can see here one minute one minute okay uh, as said, this one is uh, always we add the offset you can see plus minus no problem okay you want okay the only idea is it is an offset error okay it will be plus or minus whatever okay don't worry about this okay you can plus or minus uh, now just please guys focus on now uh, the settling time okay settling time is the operating speed as i said to you that you have input and you have to find uh, the output okay a digital input output it will take some time to give the output it is called settling time so we call it operating speed so it typically how much it is it is 50 nanosecond to 10 microsecond okay that is called settling time the time it takes to give the output okay so i'm writing here Settling time is what? The operating speed of DAC is called settling time, which is time required for the DAC output to go from zero to full scale as the binary input is changed from all zeros to all one. So if I have the input all zeros, you know, zero, 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 zero to all ones, one, 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 it will in the output it will change from zero volt to the full scale volt, right? That is called settling time so typically it, it tells you this time tells you that how much time it will take to give the output okay it is called it is called settling time so this is the definition my friend for settling time okay everybody so we have these are DAC specification as we discuss so what we discuss we discuss about the resolution in a specification T sheet resolution is nothing but number of bits then we discuss about the full scale error and the uh, linearity error then we discuss about the offset error then we discuss about settling time and then we solve the two questions okay everyone now tell me do you have any question up till now yes everyone please tell me before we move forward <coughs> Any question, guys? Please go through yourself and tell me if you have any questions. Check. Anything you know and you want to ask? Full scale error and what? Linearity error. Look, linearity is the error, error for the step size. Full scale error is the error of the output. Okay. And offset error is also the output error, but it is the initial error. Simple. So again, full scale error is the error in each output. Okay. Uh, linearity error. Yes, you can add or subtract. Don't worry about this one. But usually, what we we say offset error is plus. Okay, you, we can say plus minus. Don't worry about this one. Okay, yeah, you are right. Offset error can be plus or minus. Okay, don't worry about this. Okay, but here we explain. Assume that it is an offset error is plus. Okay, only for the assumption base. 
okay but you add only i will make it correct okay the idea is you should know that the initial error so guys again full scale error is the error in each one okay okay why having less k is better because you will get more accurate values i give i always give example of the uh, of uh, uh, the uh, you know this our uh, pressure gauges okay uh, like you know you have two pressure gauge one pressure gauge has 0 then 5 psi 10 psi 15 psi and so on but another stage is a uh, uh, gauge it show you 0 1 2 3 4 5 which one is better the second one right because you can see more accurate values this is the advantage if i have less k less step size the resolution is better the resolution is better why because i can see more accurate values clear okay i can see more values but if i have 0 5 then i don't know how will i will i will see i have to make a you know like a approximate 2.5 for example okay but if i have 0 1 2 3 i can accurately find out a particular value okay therefore less k is better so now okay one per question uh, one person he asked me abdullah brother abdullah he asked me difference in the full scale error the, the other one so full scale error again is the error in each output and uh, even the uh, the offset error is also the error in each output but offset error is the initial error because you have some problem in your uh, external which will be fixed by the external instrument and full scale error is the internal inhibited error which is depending upon uh, the values okay full scale value okay so and uh, linearity error is the error for the step size okay okay everyone now after that we have these two pages everybody please go through uh, these uh, two pages okay i will not discuss this problems you can just go and check yourself these two okay is a you know like a handout it will help you for preparation for the quiz okay all this one will help you for the preparation of the, these three pages okay one Two, three. Okay, these three pages we have a lot of questions here. Just go through. Okay, they are very simple. I have discussed already those things, so you should not have any problem. Okay, now, now we have the most important, okay, part. So we have finished up till now, and the digital to analog converter. There was one question. One student he asked me. that teacher you did not discuss this problem this one i discuss already okay but anyways i will discuss again okay yes i discuss again this one it gives you the relationship between the lsb resistor and the msb resistor for our dac using binary weighted if you remember we have discussed this one right <coughs> this one okay so we have one is the the first one is the msb resistor this one is the msb resistor and this is the lsb resistor right what is the relationship okay so the relationship is based on this formula this formula okay 2 to the power n minus 1 times msb so the same thing you will apply this formula okay apply this formula in this problem you will find out okay uh, now depending upon what is given to you <coughs> you are given msb resistor and you have to find lsb so you will and the number of bits okay you will apply this if you are given lsb resistor okay again if you are given the lsb resistor and you have to find the msb you will only divide it by 2 to the power n minus 1 okay on the it will be on the top so depending upon okay what you have and explain in detail why it is 2 to the power n minus 1 because you remember for the four bit it was 1 kilo and 8 kilo okay when we discuss here uh, when we discuss this one for the four bit it was 1 kilo was uh, at the msb and 8 kilo was lsb okay so which is what for 4 bit 
okay so therefore it pa pa 2 to the power n minus 1 so 2 to the power 4 minus 1 2 to the power 3 which is 8 okay so this is the reason that we have this formula which is 2 to the power here 2 to the power n minus 1 this is the reason we have 2 to the power n minus 1 and is on the top clear everyone okay so we discuss all these things all this one you will study yourself now come back to now so we finish now up till now we finish digital to analog converter okay we have to start now analog to digital conversion okay we have to start now analog to digital conversion okay guys now analog to digital converter is a very typical i have to explain to you so let me just do one thing Please just wait, guys. Actually, I'm doing something because I need to explain it in detail and it is not showing properly, you know, this diagram, it has to be very clear, okay? So let me just uh, share it here. So here we have Okay. 
okay guys so uh, look this diagram okay this is an uh, abc okay we call it abc please open your uh, handout also in front of you and uh, now i will explain to you okay and uh, this one i just wanted to make it because i want to make it very clear okay everybody with me okay now look understand very carefully first of all what are the components in this one so we have four components in this one okay this is called analog digital converter okay where is first of all where is the input analog input and the log input is provided from here okay where is the digital output digital output is here this is digital output okay so analog output digital out, uh, analog out uh, sorry input and digital output okay now we have uh, of this, the total we have uh, four uh, four element in this one first is the first is control and gate second one is d to a converter therefore i told you why we studied d to a converter because in the adc digital to analog converter is one element okay so this is the reason i cannot study adc before okay i need to first study dac then i will be able to uh, study adc okay uh, so we have d to analog converter then we have a counter this is our counter Four bit binary, simple binary counter, okay. And then we have a comparator. So I have four elements. Number one, number one, control and number two. Uh, so number one, we have control and okay. This is control and uh, this one. Number two, we have an a digital to analog converter. Number third, we have what is uh, comparator, and number fourth, we have counter, counter, counter. Okay, guys. So now, how does it work? Understand it very simple. Okay, understand it very carefully. Okay. So first of all, we have our start pulse. <coughs> so we have check this is start pulse here. Start pulse has two pulse, uh, two things. It goes up and then it goes down. Okay, when it goes from zero to one. Okay, the start pulse go from zero to one. What happens? This one will go to reset, so the counter will be reset. Counter reset means initially all will be zero, 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 right? And this one will go to also here. When and when it goes to an uh, and gate zero, we know uh, an inverter. We have inverter here. So inverter, sorry, we have a inverted here. Okay. So when we have this element from zero to one, okay, zero to one this is start okay so this one is going in two places this is going to one here and it will come one here okay when this one will come here this will reset the counter so counter will be all zero okay we know that but when this one comes here okay we know the invert it is a bubble so here the output will be zero right and we know that if any and gate output is zero always be zero so you will have nothing but zero here right so any clock okay, will the clock go no okay and initially we have uh, this is the zero okay this convert uh, this is the ca counter is zeros all zeros okay all zeros and digital, digital analog converter and we know this is called VAX so we are comparing here two outputs we have VA the original inputs and we have VAX this VAX what it is doing it is the output of uh, from the digital to analog converter okay from here 
Okay, so this V A X is actually equal to size times digital input, right? Whatever the step size times digital input. <coughs> so what we are doing now? Initially, what will be V A X? V A X will be zero. Why zero? Because initially the counter is what all zero right so counter is zero so and you know your zero times k will give you the zero output right so you have now this is comparator this is comparator what comparator does comparator output is, uh, the comparator uh, operation is very simple if you have the comparator says that if you have plus if plus is more than minus the output is always one and if plus is less than minus the output will be what the output will be zero okay so here it is one initially why because v a x is zero okay v a x is uh, is uh, zero initially v a x is zero okay so we are getting one okay so this is one but here uh, since it goes from this start pulse it goes from zero to one so this one comes here this counter reset but when this one comes here this one get zero and we know that the AND gate, if any zero, the output will be always what? Zero, right? Allah, The output will be always zero. So you have, this is one, this is zero. So the output will be always zero, okay? So you will not get any clock, okay? Now, so this is happening initially. Now what happens? And this is also this is one, this is clock. But since this is zero, it's always zero. Okay. Now what happens when in the start pulse it goes start pulse. Now next, when it start pulse next, it goes from in this second pulse, it goes from one one to zero. 1 to 0. What happened now? 1 to 0. Now it will not reset, right? Okay, it is 0. So your reset is not active now. Okay, now it means now counter can change. Counter can count. Okay. Now this 0 will come here. So here it will become 1, right? And it was already 1. So what happened now? So this is 1. So this is one, this is one because we have zero pulse, okay, we have zero pulse, we have zero, so this becomes one, this becomes one, so very simple, the clock will start coming here. <coughs> when clock will start coming here, what will happen? This counter will start counting. Clear? So it will count 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, and so on. It will start counting. This VAX will start incrementing. Why? Because it is what? K times digital input. Clear? Okay. So this is one, this is one, clock start coming, okay, it is start increasing, VA X start increasing. Now VA is constant, right, because it's the digital input. When VA X will cross VA, so means plus becomes less than minus, means minus becomes more, what will happen at the time? It will become zero. So it will become what? 
the clock will stop coming it will become zero and counter will stop okay when the counter is stop at that time you will simply take what is the output okay that will become your you will see what is the value of digital that will become your output clear let me just discuss again so you understand it all the, again guys okay first of all we have how many uh, many uh, we have uh, this one first of all we have how many uh, component number one we have uh, control and okay yes control and we have a <coughs> counter binary counter very simple binary counter which depends upon uh, so we have control and we have binary counter this counter depends upon the clock clock input will come it will count very simple 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 and so on then we have digital to analog converter it does nothing but it has the input digital input from the counter and it gives a dummy output okay this dummy output we keep just only for the comparison for the comparator d v a x okay k times digital input okay and then we have v a so we have then a comparator what is the purpose of this comparator if the v a is more than v a x it will be one and when v a become less than v a x will be zero clear okay so this is the arrangement what happened initially initially what happened this is it controlled by the start pulse initially start pulse goes high then start pulse goes low so when it goes high what happened this is one one will come here become zero this is one but since it is zero so it will be always give you zero in the meantime this one will go here as well so it will reset the counter okay next then start plus go from one to zero when it goes from one to zero this one will become zero so this zero will become what one when it becomes one this is one this is one the clock will start coming inside clock start coming inside the counter start counting okay okay going up counting and v a x will start incrementing because it is what k times digital input so so counter will stop count start counting 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 unless v a x this becomes more than v a so when this becomes more than v a i told you it will become what zero so when this zero will come here this will stop working at that time whatever is here is our output okay everyone do you understand Do you understand, guys? Okay, we will see the example now. Okay, okay. Now let's see the example now. So go back to our uh, this one. <coughs> It will be given to you in the exam. Listen, we will see one example now. You will understand, okay? Don't worry, guys. So we have look this example now, very simple example, okay? This example, okay? Let me just do one more thing. Thank <laughs> you. 
So we have Guys, you just uh, first of all see what I have discussed. Let me just do something because. example I want to make it bigger okay okay so now let's see Hello, the sound is there. Okay, now uh, just one minute. Okay, guys. Wait, 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 guys, wait, one minute, wait, wait, hello everyone, okay, I'm sorry, but just wait, please, please wait now. <coughs> okay, now please look here, look now this example, how are you, now please, I'm sorry. Look this example now. Okay, this example is now the same example. The, your VA. Hello, Muhammad Yusuf. Lahya Mayatla Andi. Listen, Habibi. Guys, can you hear me? Sort is quiz. Ishmushkila sort. Okay, guys. Now please look here. Now keep that example in front of you and look uh, this example. Okay. Uh, you are given a VA, <coughs> VA will be given to you, you are given 4.9 gold, number of bits will be given to you 4 bit and step size will be given to you 0 0.5 gold, okay, these three parameters must be given to you, okay, so you have VA, VA we know which is the analog input, okay, we know number of bit which is 4 bit and we are given the step size K which is 0 0.5, okay, so initially, now, as I said to you, we will compare VA and VAX, okay? We have two in the comparator. We have two things uh, in the comparator, uh, VA and VAX, okay? VA is the input. VAX is coming from digital to analog. Brother Muhammad Yusuf, what can I say? Wallahi. Guys, can you hear me? Uh, enable, enable your audio, Yaqi.
Muhammad Yusuf Enable Your Audio Okay, then, then you can hear, okay? Enable <coughs> Okay, remove the headphone Just listen to you guys Okay so, in the comparator, I told you, the comparator is the one which is controlling the operation. Comparator, we have two inputs. VA, which is the given digital uh, analog input, okay? And VAX, VAX and VA are the uh, input in the, uh, in, the, uh, in the comparator, okay? So, VA is the analog input which is given okay given and VAX is coming from where coming from uh, digital to analog converter okay okay so VAX will keep increasing I told you keep increasing okay unless VAX will become uh, VX will become more than uh, uh, more than uh, VA uh, or I can say that initially what you will have VA will be more than VAX right so VAX now increasing and when VA will become less than VAX what will happen the output EOC will be zero and of conversion will be zero and our uh, this one uh, counter will stop counting okay this is what we see right okay so it is given to you in the example now see because of this one see the example so you are given va va is 4.9 volt okay the input okay number of bit will be given to you and what can I see? What can I say, my friend? Okay. Deal. Uh, I cannot say anything. Anyways, I will record. Recording will be there. Don't worry. Okay. You can see recording. Okay. Okay. You can see recording later on. Okay. Uh, later on later okay i will share i will share voila guys voice is not clear guys voice is not clear any problem okay now listen so please now look here very simple let's let us go fast now okay so va is given to you you will know the number of bits and you know step size okay very simple so initially uh, you have zero zero counter value is zero okay vax what we told vax will be k time digital input because it is a uh, it is output from the digital analog converter okay this is okay step size time digital input so 0 0.5 times 0 will be 0. So VA is more than VAX, it will keep counting, okay? So clock number 1, it will become, the next clock will come, it will become, now clock is coming, right? I told you, clock keep coming and it will count, okay? Counter will count. 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1 into 0.5, 0.5. Still VA is more than VAX, it will counter will keep on counting, okay? Because EOC still is what? EOC is 1, okay? Is 1, so counter keeps counting okay okay from the end gate now clock 2 0, 0, 1, 0, 2 into point five one volt same as above unless clock number 10 and clock number 10 what will happen 1010 0, 1, 0, right which is what 10 right 10 times input uh, digital input is 10 uh, for the digital analog converter and point 0.5 is your uh, what you call it uh, step size so you got how much five volt okay now vax eoc is you can check here eoc is the output of the of the comparator yaki which has to be one okay if we become zero class 
Okay? Yes, yes, okay, Achi, Achi, okay. Okay. So now VAX is more, VAX becomes what? More, less than VA, right? Uh, VAX becomes more than VA, right? Okay. Because it is 5. 5 becomes more than 4.9. Okay. Or we can say VA becomes less than VAX. So what will be the counter output? The, oh, sorry. Uh, what do you call it? Comparator output. So comparator output, which is what? EOC will become what? Zero. Now this zero will go to what? Will go to the AND gate, right? Okay. So the output AND gate will become what? Output AND will be zero. So counter will stop what? Counting. Halas. Okay, everyone? Counter stop counting. Okay? So this is the way it works. So at the time, we will see what is the output. 1010. That will become the output. Okay? So this is the way, guys, it works. Okay? Step by step. Okay, everybody? Understand? Any question? Any question? Okay, so again, please go through the example and you will understand very, very, it is very easy by the way. Okay, now the last thing today that we have to discuss is Okay, so this is the way <coughs> we have the output, okay? So as I explained you here, I explained you the full operation guys, full operation, how it works, and then we discuss one example, okay? Okay, and final output is what? 1010 zero, zero, because at that time it will stop, okay? Okay, at the time it will stop. Okay, guys. Now look uh, one question uh, here. Okay, this problem. Okay, this problem is very simple. Okay, up to here we will see up to here this problem. Okay, leave, leave this one up to here. Okay. This one we will discuss in next in next class. Okay. Anyways, so that in the well, guys, my friend, my friend, my good friends. Okay. Let's stop here. We will stop now here. Okay. I don't want that. I make a lot of discussion, and uh, then we have a problem. Okay. We still have time. Okay. We will stop here now. We will stop here, guys. Okay. And uh, what we do now? Next week again quiz. Okay. Yes. Quiz till here okay and 